Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a look at my entire Architectural Lego set collection. Yep, so you have how many sets? 27. 27 Lego Architecture sets. So we're going to show all of those. He keeps those in a separate room. They're not in his Lego room. They're in the room yeah. that he sleeps. Yeah. Same shelf that we use for everything. It's just in a different area. We just keep those in here. And the reason we haven't moved it, because you can see there, they're anchored. The shelf is anchored yeah. to the wall. So we just leave it. Yeah. So up here, what do we have? So we have the Statue of Liberty. Uh-huh. We have the Empire State Building back there. Yep. We have Tokyo. Uh-huh. We got Dubai. Yep. And, and then back here, can you move that over? Yeah. Careful. That is Shanghai. Uh-huh. So that's the top shelf. He's got five of them up here. Yep. Couple of those, Dubai um, is a little bit wobbly. Yeah. Shanghai is wobbly. I have to be very careful with yeah. that set. But the um, Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building, those are very. Um, this one brought a lot out of me when I built it. Did it? Yeah, sweats, tears, and <laughs> aggravations. Really? Yes. Okay. Because it was so hard with her arm. Oh, sweat, tears, and aggravations yes. on the Statue of Liberty. She should have been better than that, shouldn't she? Uh -huh. That's really cute. I really like that. Those colors. I know. Um, let me show I really here. Love the Empire State Building. Yeah. So it's, look, you got the taxis. That's so cute. We've been there. <coughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Going up in the Empire State Building. Yeah. A lot different than whenever I went up there. Yeah, there's a lot more. Lines. Twenty plus years ago. Yeah. But, yeah. But. Um, all right, second shelf here, we have Taj Mahal. Yeah. That's a really good one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I really like that one. Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain. Mm -hmm. And that's a newer one. We just got that one. You probably saw it in a vlog. Yeah. That was from Bricks and Minifigs. That's a retired yeah. set. We didn't have. No. Um, so he traded uh, Brickheads and was able to get that one. Yeah, they gave us some points for that. For money. Money for it. Singapore. That's just like the movie. Crazy Rich Agents, Agents. that one yes. scene. I watched, I've watched it so many times, and I've seen that scene. Big Ben, I that's a <laughs> that's been retired for years. I think I got that for you for Christmas um, a few years ago. It was, I bought it from somewhere, maybe Bricklink or something like uh -huh. that, but it wasn't in stores. Yeah. All right, next here. Um, going down a shelf. Great Pyramid of Giza. Yep, he just did that one in that video. Um, I'll link it down below. He, that's a really big one. That's that's it's big too. Yeah. You've got the Eiffel Tower back there. Yeah. That's that's cute. I I will I do not know how to pronounce these words, and I don't want to um I don't want to butcher it. I mean I know what that is. I just. I'm not good at pronouncing some of those. Mm -hmm. I can barely speak English. Buckingham Palace. Cute. Look, you got the bus. Yeah. The police cars. I like that. Their flag there. Really cute. Okay. On this next shelf here, we have... What we got? New York. Yep. So that one's good because it has the Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building. You got the flat iron. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I think that's the One World Tower. And I'm not sure what this one is, but you've got all of those combined. So that's cute. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Behind it there, what we have San Francisco. Yeah. So you got the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, I never noticed. You got the little homes on the hills there. That's a cute set. I like that. Uh, it's Trafalgar Square, I think is how you pronounce it. But I really like that, don't you? Yeah. You've got like the water fountains, trees there, mm -hmm. little stairs. Those steps are cute. Yeah. 
Little Buzz. We have Berlin. Which is a good set that I built. Yeah, I like that. And then back behind there, I think we have Sydney. Yeah. Let me move this. Yep. Sydney. That's a really cute set, I think. Uh -huh. Got the Opera House there. I, I like that. I like, I like the Opera House of it. Probably the best, maybe. Yeah. That. Were these all pretty good to build? Yeah. No problems, really? No, they weren't that hard. All right. Bottom two shelves here, what we got? London. I think that one's really cute. Uh-huh. I really like that one. And I love these blue parts that they did. Mm-hmm. Oh, I never really noticed the bridge coming up right there with the little sailboat under Oh, it. you never noticed I that? I never paid attention to that. You've uh, had that for years. I've, I've always noticed it. I never noticed that. I just sat here and look. I've cleaned it a hundred times. And behind it, we have Paris. Paris. I like that one, don't you? Yeah. So that this, one's kind of like New yeah. York City. It combines a lot of things. This one's a lot more sturdy than the other Eiffel Tower. I think the other Eiffel Tower is, it gives me problems. The The Eiffel Tower gave you problems? Yeah, the the other one that's just by itself. Yeah, so up there, that right there gave him problems, he said. But that one was pretty easy. Yeah, this one was. It's cute. I like that set. And I love there, that this one has the flag on it. That one up there doesn't. Oh, it doesn't, but that one does. Yeah. yeah that's cute. We've got the Guggenheim Museum, which and is I, really cute. And I really like that too because it's like it's like a bow shape. This right here, which mm -hmm. is cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got Vegas. Oh, why have I never noticed the Vegas sign? <laughs> I've noticed it since I built it. You've got the fountains there. It's so cute. It'd be fun to get to go there someday, yeah, wouldn't it? I definitely want to go there someday. It's for... like one of your dream vacations, isn't it? To get yeah. to go to Vegas. Yes. Maybe one day. And then we have the Great Wall of China behind it. Pull that Vegas out. Yeah, the Great Wall of China back there. That one's cute. And you'll notice with the architecture sets, they, they all have a nameplate. Yeah. The only one that doesn't is the Guggenheim that you have. It doesn't have a nameplate. It does have it on there. You can see the name there on the white, but it doesn't actually have a nameplate. Oh, okay. But this is cute. Mm. You really like this one, don't you? Uh-huh. I think it's cool. There's like a lot of different textures of green on it. Mm-hmm. And then the bottom shelf here, the last one, we'll fix that. Okay. He's got Venice. Yeah. Which is cute. I like that. I know. You've got the United States Capitol building. Yeah. Awesome. And then we have the White House. The United States flag. It's really cool. We love the USA. And then we have this one left. Chicago. Yeah. I took you there for your 12th birthday, I think. And it was a good time. Yeah, we had a good time. Got the bridge raising up there, too. Yeah. A lot of these sets in the, like, city I, ones. I never really noticed that, either. Yeah, a lot of these, like, smaller city sets have, like, their bridges raising up and a bone under it. Mm-hmm. I will say this. If I were going to get Capitol Building uh -huh. or the White House... Uh -huh. 100% I would choose the Capitol because... So you don't like the White House? No, I like it as long as you don't have to move it. Oh, okay. When you move that set, it it just does not um, it does not stay together. And so I move, have to move it in three parts, and I have to clean them, obviously. Mm -hmm. But it just pops right off. See, and it, it just will not... I'm like, they should have clipped those together better, but it always, always comes apart. Mm-hmm. The Capitol, or the Capitol doesn't do that. No. But the White House always does it. It's so aggravating. Yeah. But you have a pretty good collection Collection of architecture sets. Yeah. I really like them because um, they're just easier to clean. They don't take up nearly as much room. Most of them don't. No. I think the only one that I've ever like been wowed upon was the Great Pyramid of Giza because it was super huge than what I thought it would be. Yeah, like that one wowed you. Yeah, because I thought it would be, you know, like one of these much smaller. Yeah, that one is a pretty big one. Yeah, the, I um, thought it would be probably like the same size as the Taj Mahal because like, mm -hmm. like that. Taj Mahal is pretty big. All right, tell us what your favorite one is, Um, like the, con the people watching. Um, Let us know. The people watching. Oh, yeah. 
Because we're going to do a video saying your top five yeah. favorite. But tell us. What's your guys' favorite? Yeah. What your favorite one uh, is. These 27. Pretty good collection, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So stay tuned to watch his top five favorite. Yeah. I'll tell my top five favorite because I'm sure we probably have different opinions on this. Yeah. Yeah. Should be fun. Yeah. And we'll see you guys in that video. So bye.